Hi, welcome to a graphs which is non-linear data structure. A graph consists of set of vertices denoted with capital V, uh, which is having n number of vertices, and all the vertices are may be connected with set of edges here, which is denoted by using capital E, which is having set of m number of vertices uh, edges. The two vertices in a graph are said to be adjacent if there is an edge between uh, the two vertices. For example, uh, here vertex uh, 2 and 4 are adjacent vertices to the vertex 1. So, vertex 1 is this one. So, 2 and 4 are two vertices which are adjacent to the vertex 1. Uh, graphs with ordered edges are directed. So, here the if edge is having arrow then that is that kind of uh, 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 graph is called directed graph if uh, the if the uh, graphs are having without arrows here which is called undirected graph so the transition can be uh, can be made but from 1 to 2 and also 2 to 1 so which is called undirected graphs there is no arrows uh, to represent the direction between uh, uh, two vertices then each uh, vertex can have incoming edges or outcoming edges based upon that degree can be calculated the in degree and out degree weighted graphs uh, have values associated with edges so here the directed graph is given uh, each edge in the directed graph is having the weights then it is called uh, sometimes weighted graph right here undirected graph is given with weights so this is also called weighted graph so this is undirected graph this is directed graph so here we can calculate the uh, degree of uh, this uh, and each and every vertex based upon the in and out outgoing edges then uh, the graph can be represented by using two approaches one is adjacency list and another one is adjacency matrix here the undirected graph is given for this we are going to represent that uh, given graph using adjacency list adjacency list is defined as an array which is having address of all the linked list so here which is uh, defined as a uh, uh, collection of linked list in the array format so here in linked list the first node denotes the vertex so this is the uh, uh, one we are considering initially that vertex is uh, first node then remaining lists are connected to this node so here the one is connected with two and here which is connected with four so two is added with the linked list then four is added again uh, because of connecting with uh, one directly so here you may take first four and also you can take uh, two in the next time so this is also can be done okay so we can do in this structure or two can be taken first and four can be taken next so we can take vice versa right so here uh, this structure can be used to denote the weighted graph also if you are if our uh, uh, if our graph is having any weights for the edges that weights also can be denoted in this list when if you are using the weights then your uh, array has to be represented with weights so here your uh, node value then weight you can uh, given here then you can connect with another node so you can slightly change your uh, uh, storage of uh, your memory with slight change of representation each element of an array in your um, list corresponding to its neighbor that means if you have the two here the two is directly connected to the one you look at that so to, the one is directly connected to the uh, two one is directly connected to the four for example if you take six six is directly connected to the two here which is connected this direction then uh, six is directly connected to three yes six is directly connected to three uh, six is correctly uh, connect uh, directly connected to five but here there is no need of 
connection between uh, 2 to 3 and 3 to 5. Okay, look at that. There is no need of connection between 3 to 5. So, this only indicates the 5 is directly connected with 6. There is no connection between 3 and 5 that we should consider. So, this is the purpose of adjacency list to represent the graph. Suppose if my graph is a directed graph, for this, uh, again we can use the adjacency list to represent the given graph. Uh, here, one, one is directly connected to 2 and 4. Yes, one is the vertex, which is the first node, which is directly connected to the 2 and which is connected directed to the 4. When you are taking the 6, so 6 is here given, 6 is directly connected to the 2 only okay directly connected to 2 only so after that there is no node if there is no node we have to use uh, the null char null character uh, to represent there is no more nodes in the given list when you are taking the uh, 3 so 3 is directly connected to only the 6 so 3 is the node we are considering which is directly connected to the 6 then after that there is no nodes in the list so we are making this into null so this this is the way to represent directed and undirected graph by using adjacency list and we can uh, represent that given graph by using the adjacency matrix that we will see in the next video thanks for watching